when you live by higher laws, the third dimensional word becomes like a game because you know that you live in a holographic matrix and you know that you can project anything that you want into your hologram. So it becomes like a game because you know that you are ultimately here to create your best life. Hello my loves, welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to do another manifestation video talking about having it already and it's already yours because creation is complete, everything already exists in the quantum field, all infinite possibilities already exist. We just have to jump on the wavelength of having it already. So how do we do that? Stick to the end of this video to find out how. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell right next to it to get notified whenever I post a new video. Give this video a like. I'm gonna wait for you to hit that like button right now. Also let me know where you are watching from. I love to know where you guys are tuning in from and I'm trying to get the channel to 600k by the end of the year so if you can share this video with someone that would find it useful that would be of great help for me and let's get into this video. So a few days ago I was sitting in meditation and I got into a state where I was really just so content with everything in my life and I was just so in the present moment. I was really, really in the now moment and I felt like I did not want or need anything. And it's probably one of the most amazing things, like states to be in because actually a lot of people when they surrender or get to that state of like, I'm perfectly happy and content with my life the way it is, but I'm also still, you know, actively manifesting and creating the life that I desire, right? I'm still holding the vision. That's when people like start to really take off and manifest at lightning speed and manifest instantly because they don't have any resistance to it, right? I always say you can't want something too much because when you want it too much you're creating resistance towards it and when i was in that meditative state the verse came to me the lord is my shepherd i shall not want because you know that everything already exists in the quantum field everything that you want already exists you just have to get on the wavelength of having it and it will be yours and it's so simple it's manifestation is easy guys it doesn't have to be hard you can manifest instantly when you get to a certain state when you have mastered up confidence because you've been doing this for a while because you know it's law and that if applied correctly it works every time it is not less infallible than the law of gravity a law is a law and just as we have physical laws, such as the law of gravity, we also have higher dimensional laws. I like to call them universal laws, such as the law of polarity, the law of rhythm, the law of attraction, the law of assumption. Um, there's many universal laws. And when you live by these laws, these laws also trump um, they are higher than the physical laws, which is why when you go into the states um, that are described as 5D, um, such as like joy, peace, love, when you are predominantly in those vibrations, you can you start to become a creator rather than being a um, like a victim to your outer circumstances and you start to be able to affect matter. It's the whole mind over matter thing that so many teachers and all the sages um, talk about. It's the exact same thing. So I wanted to um, share with you the technique that how, like the technique to actually get there. Also, I'm going to take a second to interrupt my own video and share with you my new membership, Limitless. It's a manifestation school. It's what I wish I would have had when I first got started with manifesting. If you want to learn how to manifest at lightning speed and just really commit to your manifestation practice, we have daily planners in there. We have affirmation lists. 
manifestation journals in there. We have meditations in there that will help you quantum leap to your best reality. Uh, meditations that help you heal your inner child because that's something that's very, very important, believe it or not. We have specific meditations in there that help you manifest and create your um, new potential and your new reality. Every month we have a kit coming out. So for example, the month of July was um, the month of self-concept and self-image and how to create anything on autopilot through your self-concept and through your self-image. You get to interact with the beautiful souls that are in there. There's an entire section for community where you can share your thoughts and you can just speak to people. It's very, very interactive and it's literally a manifestation school. You can currently get 10 years off lifetime by clicking the link below. The code is abundance now. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you want to do it together, if you want to manifest with a group of people, coming together in a community for a common purpose is a very, very high frequency and very potent energy. I always say don't underestimate the power of getting into such a container whether it's an online course or a membership slash community in this case the energy inside is very very potent and you will see that when we have when we're going to have the live Q&A calls when people come together for a common purpose it's even more potent and even more powerful right like a hundred people meditating for the same thing is more powerful than one person meditating for the same thing, right? Um, and also the verse that comes to mind is where two or more of you are gathered, there will I be. So that's really like the power of God, the power of creation of life is so much more potent when we come together for the same go common goal, which is manifesting our highest and best life. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave the link um, down below so you can grab it there and let's get right back into the video. I'm going to read this passage to you where he really explains how you can really get into that state. And this is from the book uh, Neville Goddard. This is actually, I'm a book nerd. This is actually all of his 10 books in one. It's really, really heavy. It's like... It's like my manifestation bible and i kid you not guys when i started to adopt this method things i started manifesting things out of nowhere miracles things yeah things that for me they weren't really miracles but for um, from an outer perspective i don't even really share them with the people around me because i know i mean it depends who i have my friends who i can talk to about these things but i also have people that live more in the third dimensional world and the physical world and they don't really understand it they live based on the 3d third dimensional world when you live by higher laws the third dimensional word becomes like a game because you know that you live in a holographic matrix and you know that you can project anything that you want into your hologram so it becomes like a game because you know that you are ultimately here to create your best life um and i do it all the time now with like such as very very little things um as well as the big things but in my day-to-day -day life um for example if i have a person in tra traffic in front of me that's like really slow and really i'm a fast driver so if, if there's traffic or someone's driving really slow i can get like i don't like it okay so what I do is I imagine that person to be pulling over or pulling into a different street and literally in a matter of, matter of seconds they do because when you understand that you live in a holographic reality and that this is a matrix and like I said that you can project anything that you want into your reality um it just all becomes as a game and even things when things go south and things happen right we all have things happen in our life breakups separations you know financial difficulties shit happens you know natural catastrophes loss of relatives of close people like we're not immune to those things that are all part of life um but we get to choose how we react to them if that makes sense and also when you're in that state you don't it becomes less 
um, it's less hard to deal with than when you're in the third dimensional reality, if that makes sense. And also third dimensional reality and fifth dimensional reality, you're not actually going anywhere. It's just a different state of consciousness and we slip into different realities all like into different dimensions all the time but that's a topic for a whole other video so i'm going to share with you what neville goddard says about you know having it already now a lot of people visualize from this state of wanting something and not actually from this state of having it already because the lord is my shepherd i shall not want when you have it right let's imagine you want to be like on a vacation okay so you're at the vacation you have it when you're at the vacation you don't start thinking oh i would really really want to be <laughs> it makes me laugh i laugh at my own jokes okay you do not sit there on the beach thinking oh i would really like to be on a vacation right now because you're there right so in the same manner when we visualize we uh, or we manifest we have to think from the state and that's just a way, like, it becomes a mental diet and a mental practice. So here's what Neville Goddard has to say about this. He talks about a state akin to sleep, but one in which you are still in control of directing, of the direction of attention. You must learn to induce this state at will, but experience has thought, taught that it is more easily induced after a substantial meal or when you wake in the morning feeling very loath to arise. Then you are naturally disposed to enter the state. The value of physical immo immobility shows itself in the accumulation of mental force which absolute stillness brings with it. It increases your power of concentration. In fact, the greater energies of the mind seldom break forth save when the body is stilled and the door of the senses is closed to the objective world. The third and last thing to do is to experience in your imagination what you would experience in reality had you achieved your goal. This is what I was just talking about. You must gain it imagination first, for imagination is the very door to the reality of that which you seek. But Use imagination masterfully and not as an onlooker thinking of the end, but as a partaker thinking from the end. You're already sitting on the beach. If you're sitting on the beach, you're not thinking of the beach, right? You're not thinking about wanting to be there because you already have it um, right now. Imagine that you possess a quality or something you desire which has not yet been yours. Surrender yourself completely to this feeling until your whole being is possessed by it. This state differs from reverie in this respect. It is the result of a controlled imagination and a steadied, concentration, concentrated attention, okay? When you start to live this way and really have the mental diets, you will notice, um, you will really train your brain to focus your attention on the things that you want because it's very easily for the untrained mind to kind of drift off and um, kind of be victim to the circumstances rather than directing your attention on how you want things to go. Whereas reverie is the result of an uncontrolled imagination, what I just said, usually just a daydream. In the controlled state, a minimum of effort suffices to keep your consciousness filled with the feeling of the wish fulfilled. The physical and mental immobility of this state is a powerful aid to voluntary attention and a major factor of minimum effort. The application of these three points, so first you have a desire, then you, he talked about physical immobility, which is basically just like, you know, laying down, sitting down as if you would like start to meditate. And then the assumption of the wish already fulfilled. He says, this is the way to at atonement slash at one mint or union with your objective the first the first point is thinking of the end with intention to realize it the third point is thinking from the end with the feeling of accomplishment the secret of thinking from the end is to enjoy being it the minute you make it pleasurable and imagine that you are it you start thinking from the end one of the most prevalent misunderstandings is that this law works only for those having a devout or religious objective. That this is a fallacy. It works just as impersonally as the law of electricity works. 
It can be used for greedy, selfish purposes as well as noble ones. But it should always be borne in mind that igno ignoble thoughts and actions inevitably result in unhappy consequences. So use this law wisely. What I want to say is do unto others what you would want others to do unto you. And I promise you guys, when you start to adopt this method of manifesting, things will change instantly for you. If that has already happened for you, let me know in the comments. I love to read your stories and your testimonies. And I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in my next video.